Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube challenge for the week. Um, so today we're going to be talking about capitalization and when we should and should not capitalize certain words in our sentences. Um, so we're going to read the mega deluxe capitalization machine. And it's going to talk about all the different rules um, that we use when using capitalization. The day of the science fair was finally here, and Cindy Cadoodle was ready. You see, she'd invented a great gadget and couldn't wait to show it off. It was called the Totally Terrific Turbocharged Mega Deluxe Capitalization Machine. So here's her machine at the science fair. How does that contraption work? Bonnie Brickle asked. Allow me to demonstrate, said Cindy. She wrote Bonnie's name on a piece of paper. That's wrong. You made it all lowercase, exclaimed Bonnie. So we have her name right here and it's all in lowercase and we know that is not how we write people's names. Just watch, responded Cindy. With that, she fed the paper into her invention. The machine bleeped and blipped and gurgled then out popped her name with the proper capitalization. Wow, screeched Bonnie, your invention really works. So we see the incorrect capitalization here, and then this is how it's written correctly. Because we know anytime we're using someone's official name, it is always going to be capitalized. Let me try, let me try, shouted Gary Grigsby. Make sure you write in all lowercase, said Cindy. Gary wrote down his favorite month, day of the week, and holiday. So see, he has December, Saturday, and Halloween. The machine beeped and blared and chortled. Then out popped the words with the proper capitalization. That's awesome, exclaimed Gary. So we see we've got the months of the year are always capitalized, the days of the week are always capitalized, and anytime we're talking about an official holiday, it is always going to be capitalized. My turn, said Olivia Orlando. Olivia was a world traveler. Her family always went on fantastic vacations. Olivia closed her eyes and thought about a place she dreamed of visiting. She wrote it down, the city, country, and even the continent. So this time we've got Paris, France, and Europe. Cindy's invention jumped and gibbered and yodeled. Then out popped the words with the proper capitalization. Ooh la la, remarked Olivia enthusiastically. So anytime we've got um, countries and cities and continents, they will always be capitalized. Now it was Henry Hilbert's turn. Henry loved history. It was his favorite subject. He wrote down three fascinating historical events. He wrote down the Boston Tea Party, the Civil War, and the Renaissance. The machine sniffed and snorted and crackled, then popped the words with the proper capitalization. Simply sensational, stated Henry. So we have our next rule is any important historical events like the Boston Tea Party and the Civil War um, we will always begin those with a capital letter. Don't forget me, squealed Dina Duncan. Dina was always up on the latest trends. She wrote down her favorite book, movie, and rock band. So those of you in my class, what does this sound like? She wrote Barry Blotter and the Sorcerer's Soup. Toy Tail, and Side Street Guys. The invention rocked and rattled and clattered. 
Then out pop the words with the proper capitalization. Utterly fabulous, declared Dina. By the way, that's the newest way to say great. So if you look now, we've got the names of books, movies, and rock bands should always be capitalized. The same goes for any other kinds of entertainment, such as plays, TV shows, magazines, and sports teams. Freddie Farber loved ice cream. He also loved cookies, popcorn, lollipops, potato chips, beef jerky, soda, and bubblegum. Freddie wrote the names of his three favorite snacks in the whole world. So he wrote Burpee Soda, Chipperoos, and Spin and Larry's Triple Mint Chip Kiwi Swirls. The machine gulped and gobbled and burped. Then out popped the words with the proper capitalization. Mouthwatering, cried Freddie. So now we see any brand names of any type of items. So snacks, toys, anything. If it's the brand name, the official brand name, it'll always be capitalized. So if it's a toy and we say doll, doll won't be capitalized. But if we called it a Barbie doll, using the official brand name Barbie, we would have to capitalize it. Now, it was the science teacher's turn to examine the machine. Cindy was very nervous. Mr. Minlo circled her invention, pushing buttons and twisting dials. After a few minutes, he announced, brilliant, remarkable, ingenious. Then, Quick as a wink, he jotted something on a piece of paper and fed it into the machine. The invention clanged and clapped and whistled. Then out popped the paper. On it, Mr. Menlo had written a single, big, bold letter. It was Cindy's grade for the science fair project. An A+. Plus. Talk about a capital day. So see, she got her A-plus on her science fair project. So that's the end of the story, but really fast, we're going to review some of the rules that this book talked about today. The first one was the first letter of first, middle, and last names will always be capitalized. The days of the week, months, and holidays are always capitalized. Places, cities, countries, and continents will always use capital letters. Important historical events. Books, movies, plays, TV shows, magazines, bands, and sports teams will always have capital letters as well. And um, specific brand names, including snacks and toys. And that goes for anything. If it's the actual brand or company's name, it is always going to have a capital letter. So here are some of the rules I'm going to show you guys really fast and come to class on Friday, ready to talk a little bit more about the different capitalization rules. Thanks guys.